for the Feast of Shavuot, Feast of Weeks, and Pentecost. They're all the same thing. So they should be prepared for. That's the next observed feast of the Lord. That's what there, there's nothing else that we should be talking about. Not one single solitary thing. Don't care about who's in government, who the president is, what's going on in, in, in sports, or, or this is what what's next as far as the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the eyes have seen, the ears have heard. I just ask and pray in the name of Jesus that you will continually have your will in your way. We know, Father God, there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. People will try to make it two, three, and four. There, there, there's only one. And the Bible makes it clear who you was and who you is and who you are when you come back. The only way people try to deviate from what you said it is like the Bible says, for filthy lucre because they're trying to do their own thing. Lord, I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would keep us on the path that you've put us on. Preaching what you told us to preach, teaching what you told us to teach, and doing what you've told us to do. That one day when we stand before you, you will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Because the last thing anybody want to hear, and it will be the last thing, is depart from me, you work of iniquity. I do not know you. And if people think they're going to hide behind their churches and their pastors and doing stuff they know is not biblical, that's not going to be the case. Read about how 11 year journey took 40 years and they still never made it into the promise. Only Joshua and Caleb. The word is a foreshadow in itself of what was to come. If you want to know what's next, read the Bible. The Bible talks about in Matthew how there'll be wars and rumors of wars. And that's all we hear is wars and rumors of wars. That's all we ever hear about. But this is not that, it's not time yet. We still have work to do. Father God, I just ask and pray that you continue and always have your will and your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah and amen. May God bless you. Heaven's face continue and always smile upon you.